Hello and welcome back. We are back in Blutonfield, Canada, working on a potato harvest in Farm Sim 22. This is Lord Elric, your host from Elric Gaming. Thank you for joining us in our tractor. That train track is pretty rough. Uh, so we're in process of working on this contract for Field 56. We're at 61%. We're making some progress. We'll wrap this up and then we got to figure out what we're doing next uh we got 23 grand let's let's take a look oops wrong button there's this potato <clears throat> we have do, do, do. so we own that and that's it we have some gardens open air gardens going there well, which is working great we're getting some stuff we got the truck parked there we're collecting things uh, we're working on this field and we can start looking at buying a field it'd be nice to get a decent sized field that we can work with but we don't have a lot of money to work on that with and it looks like field 46 which is probably the smallest is beyond our budget it's 55 grand so, or you know, 43 is 83 grand, uh, 12 is 210, 11 is 51 grand. We could look at probably 10, no. Uh, they're all pretty spendy, maybe. Yeah, 29 we could buy. <laughs> 29 we could buy. Um, but it's not gonna be pretty, so... Yeah, there's not a much we can do here at this point in time. So we're going to probably be stuck working contracts for a bit longer. Uh, is there... Let's see if we can get some new contracts. There's a plowing of field 32, a couple of fertilizing, and then there's harvesting field 56, which we're on right now. So let's see how this goes uh, for now. And we missed that. <laughs> it did the job. Uh oh. Uh, oh, the arms are going up. We're not going to crash. I was worried there for a second. So, we're driving back to field 56. We'll load this sucker up and we'll see how it goes from there uh, with the finishing of field 56. What I'll do is once we get there and we get it offloaded, I will set us up for a quick, quick time uh dilation time skip time hmm. words are failing me today but that's not unusual but we will go ahead and pull a speed up and get through field 56 and we'll take a look at where we're at from there so on that note i will see you in a few minutes well my time it'll be a few minutes your time it'll be a few seconds enjoy
Folks, we are in the process of wrap up field 56. It is going to be going on 11.30 at night. We're going to get this stuff unloaded, sold, turned in, and cleaned up. And then we're going to head home and get a good night's sleep. What's left of the night. <clears throat> this field was fantastic in that we make, uh, we're making a lot of money for selling potatoes. Even before we got to the main field just the headlands we completed the contract for turning it in and started making cash on each run to the fast food place so that's not a bad thing and we are on the last stretch here let's get as many potatoes as we can in our tri our trailer hopefully we can fit everything i'm not sure we can we might actually have to make a run an extra run yet. It would be nice to get them all in this one last load, but we can always pick them up at the shop. Easy enough. Yep. There's going to be just a few left, unfortunately. Or we might just turn those in, uh, depending on how much it is. It's just more, we've, we've caused a depression in the market, so we're not making as much as we used to doing this. So, each load of potatoes is worth less and less, and it's been dropping pretty, pretty substantially. All right. There we go. That's on its way to do that delivery. Let's go over and pack up our harvester and head that on back to the shop. I there was one more row than I thought. Or... Maybe it just thinks there's a row, because I don't see any plants. Yeah, it's not picking anything up, so let's go ahead and stop this course. We're going to head back to the shop. We're going to hop out here. We're going to fold everything up. And we're going to drive this back to the shop. So, another field done. Not bad. We'll make a little bit of money. We might actually have enough to buy our own field, but I'm thinking we really need to get some of our own equipment first. Ah, so many things to do. So many places to get. So much money you need to do the job. But, we'll take a look at contracts again in the morning and see where we're at. Plus, we'll... Uh, load up any lettuce or cotton that we have from the previous day. So we got 6% of, of this thing's load of potatoes still in there. I'm not thinking it's going to be necessary to worry about it too terribly much. And we're stuck. And this is one of the problems with, on this map here. All right, I forgot to do that anyway. So we're going to go drop this load off, head back to the shop, sell everything, drive home, and call it a night. It's been a long day. <laughs> a couple episodes long. But we're making some progress. We're starting to get a few things of our own, which never hurts. We're going to take overdrive in this for the rest of this trip, too. We might as well. There's not much to do. And maybe I should let the uh, farmhand do the driving, huh? All right. 
I hope they don't take the uh, paint off of uh, the, for the building off of my pay here. All right. Let's unload that. We're going to probably make just under three grand, I think, if the numbers have been dropping steadily as I think they have. Oop, nope. We actually made more than I expected to. All right. On to the shop. Okay. So we're going to go turn this stuff in and head home. I think that's a good way to do that. Yep. And the Venthor made it to the shop. Perfect. <laughs> and no train. No. Yay, that one went smoothly. All right. We're making some good progress here. So we want to get a field, but I think we need some basic equipment. I might actually have to go look for some cheap, cheap, cheap old school tractors uh, and uh, basic equipment to get us started, which means things are going to take longer to get done, which is unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. All right. So let's take jump into our contract that is complete we're going to collect and there's some new stuff coming in uh some bailing contracts fertilizing which we're going to avoid and plowing a field 32. field 32 is not a terrible size um so we'll take a look in the morning and see what else we've got oops can't walk. It's been in the tractor too long, I think. All right. Come on. Okay. All right. Let's go see if we've got any stuff we can load yet onto our trailer. I'll probably wait till morning, even if we do, just to see if we get a little bit more. Okay. Almost spun out there. That would have been bad. All right, there's our farm up ahead. Okay. And we are home. All right. Let's go quick, take a look over here. See if we've got any crates that are obvious. I'm not seeing any lettuce. Uh, it does look like we've got a couple of cotton, which is great. We'll check everything in the morning, make sure that we don't aren't going to run out of water during the day. And we will get going on some new contracts. Or start looking at equipment. If we can find a cheap, cheap field. All right. Let's get up at six in the morning. I don't like to sleep in too terribly much. There's too much to do during the day. All right. It is six in the morning. Good morning. Uh, why is this is headlights on? I don't like the headlights being on. <laughs> it's hard on the battery. All right, so this is our trailer. We've got two things of lettuce on there already. We're going to be adding two loads of cotton. And we're going to come in here and just fit them right in. Um, why am I stuck? <laughs> it looks like, um, doesn't look like we have lettuce yet, but that's fine. We're getting some stuff and we'll have to take a look at the pricing. Um, depending, we might have to make two different trips to different places, but I'm not sure if, timing wise, if we're ready for that yet. 
All right, let's fix this. There we go. All right, and we're going to do this ratchet strap over. If I can go, jump in, turn that light off, get out. All right. So let's go get in our truck, our little office, and let's take a look at what we've got. So pricing-wise, we'll take a look at that first. We have cotton, which is down a little bit. Um, we are in what month? We are in October. So October's cotton is says it's up, but it's showing down but its high was up here at 1389 so it's got a ways to go Oop. and then for the lettuce let's see its high was 1118 and autosave decides to jump into the way 1118 in february I mean, we're less than a grand right now, so I think we're going to wait on those. Did it again. So let's take a look at contracts. Okay, we've got four bailing options. There's two new harvests. Uh, one is harvesting sunflowers. We're not making a lot doing that. And then there's harvesting corn. Let's check the details. So the profit per minute is 149. It's not really good. 169, not really good. 68, plowing are really low. Are there any new contracts? Oh, there's a potato one. I really don't like harvesting potatoes. They take so long. Uh, field seven is all the way up here. And the drop off is all the way down here. So we would have a lot of delays, but it's not a terribly big field. Oops. So, and it's over $200 per minute profit. It's probably worth doing that. Yeah, let's go ahead and start to, oop, I goofed. Uh, we're going to have to cancel that because I did not get the equipment with it. Well, that sucks because now that's gone. Okay. So there's plowing a field 40. Hmm. Field 40 is over here. That one we could probably take and then not have to pay a whole lot of attention to it getting done uh it's 233 not as high as i'd like let's go ahead and borrow the items though and we're gonna head over to the shop and get our contractor going on the job The dash doesn't light up. Well, so we're going to get the plowing going on field 40. And we'll... Uh, uh, ooh, it's a sharp corner. And we'll take a look and see if there's anything else we can be doing. Start looking at fields, maybe looking at some equipment, see what's on sale to shop. Let's see. Yep. Let's pull around back. Park in our usual spot. All right. Seriously? There. All right. 
We are going to get into this cool John Deere. Let's take a look at the interior. It's a little dark. Not bad, though. Ooh. Digital radio and everything. All right. Let's hook on to our... Ooh, we almost hit our truck. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. Nobody I could blame but me. All right. Uh, these weights confuse me because I don't know how to hook them up. All right. Well, we're going to skip the weight. And if we take a look at the map quick. Oop. Take a quick look at the map. Do we have anything over here? We do have this one for field 42. So let's go ahead and start that. All right. Do, do, do. This is kind of in my way. So we're going to move it over here. Let's take a look at the contracts again, see if there's another job we can get started today. Uh, this one we need to collect. Clear it out. Let's see. Plowing. Ooh. Field 57. This is a new one, too. Uh, 57. We've been working that field quite a bit, so why not? Let's go ahead and borrow the items. Well, <laughs> same exact setup. So, let's go ahead and do this. And for this, we want to go to 5658. So, we've been over there a lot. This will get us in the right general area. Awesome. So, we got that tractor on its way. Are there any other contracts worth taking a look at? Um, bailing was take a lot more direct intervention than we're ready for right now. There's a couple of weeding, but they're not paying very well. We clear the contracts and we get new contracts. Yeah, field seven is back. So let's try that with borrowing the items this time. And we'll check the price per minute. Yep, I think we're going to just get these three going. And leave it at that for a while. Why are my headlights on my truck down again? Oh, because I jumped into it. I believe we've been up by field 7 earlier. Yep, 7, 11, and 12. Alright. And let's pick this weight up and get it out of the way. So that... we got to give that one a good head start. So let's check the vehicles. Uh-oh. What are we stuck on? Hmm. Now we're stuck on here. This corner is kind of tough. Let's see. Come on. Okay. Having some problems with my mouse here. Alright. 
That's on its way. And this one's stuck. We'll just finish driving this one to field 57 since we're almost there anyway. Fold that. Let's pull up our course play and let's get the courses laid out. We're going to do, I think, 12 headlands. We'll see how that looks on field 57 here under this. Two, two, two. Uh, we need more. Let's do 20. Do, do, do. That should do it. Let's pull up so that we can trigger this the right way. All right. We've got, we've reached 42. So we'll go over to that one in a moment. And it's going to do that. Uh, you are good ways up there so we're going to go ahead and get this one rolling up to seven as well awesome all right Let's start the engine. And the field we're working is over here. All right, same thing. Generate that. Let's take a C and look and see how it works. Why is it doing 39? That's not good. Hmm. That's not a good sign. Horse generator. We need to cancel. This is a problem. <laughs> this is a real problem, guys. Is going to complain about doing that field. Well, let's give it a shot. See what happens. We can always cancel the contract since our course play is messed up if we need to. That one's working and we're at field seven. All right, this one, I think we just need like eight. Get all the way up here to see this generate field. Come on, generate the field. Are we not in the field all the way? That could do it. We're not in the field. Oh, it does show it. All 
Am I right? That's working. All right. Let's see, this is good. Did you leave the field? Well, that can't be good. <laughs> I don't know who owns field 52, but they're not going to be happy. Now they're withered, so it's no big deal. All right. Okay, so we've got several things going here now. Um, let's jump to... Are we, in, we are in 39, and it is not destroying the field. All right. All right, so let's take a look and see what's on sale. Uh, nothing that we need right now. Let's take a look and see. So, we could afford this cheapy little 50 horsepower. That's well within our budget for a tractor. Oh, uh, we have an international harvester that's a 26 to 30 horsepower, so this is not the best option we have available. We have a Kramer which is 18 horsepower, which is also not the best deal for what we need. Well, it looks like the FarmCon John Deere for 7,500 is the best deal that we're going to get right now. But I think we're going to have to look elsewhere too. Um, you know, Otherwise, let's take a look at small tractors and see what we've got. So, there's an electric for 50 grand. I want to kind of stay with North American brands if I can, if they get expensive. <laughs> We're already out of our price range. So it looks like the John Deere FarmCon is the most likely candidate. Unless we go looking elsewhere. Uh, and we're also going to need to find plows. Uh, that's cheap, but it's what? Uh, 0.5 meters. It would take a very long time. If we look in here, yeah, this one immediately is already too requires too much power for our little boys. Uh, <laughs> trailers. Well, we can always get this done in that. That's not bad. But we could do that. We could modify the one we have to do that if we need to. That's not a huge deal. Um, but we've got a few other trailers we can get that are pretty terrible. Uh, there's a pretty big limitation on what we have available. We need to look around for some additional functional pieces that we need. Um, but the sun is coming up. We've got a few tractors out on contracts right now so i think on that note we're going to call this an episode and i'm gonna go get a donut so this is lord Eller. thank you for watching if you enjoyed what you watched please subscribe i will catch you in the next episode Bye-bye.